If you want a chance to win this beautiful jetpack cameraman, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment your username, and you'll be automatically put in. Good luck. So, this is a strange one, because the best map being Toilet HQ was literally for the hardest mode before you could vote for difficulties in different maps. So, why the hell am I saying it's literally the best map for beating Nightmare and speedrunning to grind coins? Well, here's why. So before I tell you exactly why Toilet HQ is the best map, let me tell you why the others aren't taking the number one spot for being the best. And as a little bonus, since you guys are amazing, I'll rank them from worst to best along the way. Now, let's go. So I think we all saw this this one coming starting off with the worst map ever because the path literally sucks it is palm paradise so the reason i've actually put this as the worst is because look at this big chunk of land blocking the middle this could be so good to use if the land wasn't there also as you can see the land is too spread apart like this is the hot spot which is near the spawn which is the only good thing about this map but yeah it's way too small now let's get to our next worst map well second worst map so the spot for the second worst map might actually surprise you guys but it is in fact the camera hq the starting off with the most obvious reason the start is genuinely way too long like this is the hot spot on this map this is the spot where everyone should be placing and abusing the range on the towers but since the start is so long the lag is very common so you cannot spam skip unless you're spawn killing to the max then there shouldn't be a problem and another thing rocket toilets have infinite range or at least a lot of range so let's say one spawns here start shooting over here by the time it gets to this point where the actual main spot is it would have stunned about five times and i can guarantee you would have lost before then unless you've got your medics like i said tear range can't be used as efficiently not really the best spot that is why this gets easily outclassed by the next one so now the third worst map in the game which is also in the middle is toilet city now let's look at why toilet city isn't the best let's actually start off on a positive note this time which i haven't done yet pretty much the hot spot is at the spawn where range can be abused but the thing is the rest of the map is too far spread apart so you place a terrier it's going to take a while for it to reach this entire section of the path so yeah it's too spread apart again the chunk of space at the spawn is too small like for the next two range is certainly being used better in those maps and as well there's no path behind the decent chunk like it just goes away and it doesn't turn here i explained that really badly oops and i think that is my cue to get onto the second best map and the last one before we get to why toilet hq is the best the classic desert is taking the second best spot let me tell you why so it's not necessarily the best because <clears throat> as you can see the good spot is here which is sort of far but something good about this map is there is a beautiful corner near this start where range can be used for lower level towers like level ones and also vacuum spot is so easy to avoid the vacuum spot is at this exact exact corner if you're not slowing the enemies down at least and range can be used so efficiently at this spot if you place here for example the range will stretch out to this path just about and maybe even this path depending on how much range the terror you place has but unfortunately Hull at hq outclasses this map now then my favorite part the part we've all been waiting for. Let's see why Toilet HQ is the best for speedrunning, grinding coins, and genuinely just the safest map out there. Where the hell are my towers? Wait, what? Guess I'm just gonna have to wait 15 seconds. What? Oh, for goodness sake. So finally, now that that's over with, I can actually show you why this is the best map. So let's say you place a tower exactly here in this exact spot. Let's say it has good range at the last level, like the ninja cameraman. This ninja cameraman is going to reach up to here, cover this part, cover all of these corners, and maybe it will even reach up until this part. So, for about 70% of the map, the ninja cameraman is just going to be attacking. Now, if that's not efficiently using range, I don't know what is. You could also see this as a pro tip if you really want. But, 
as I've pretty much explained, this map is extremely cramped, which is really good for taking advantage of range. And the best part literally is the spawn. Even if you place here, it's still going to reach up until this point. And it's so easy to prevent lag with AoE. So this is genuinely why I believe that this is the best map that you should be grinding on. Now, I believe speedruns on this map, well, my speedruns at least, are 15 minutes long. So I get 880 coins every 15 minutes because, you know, I'm pay to win. Aha. And the friend boost, obviously. But that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, remember, join the giveaway. This does, in fact, end on Friday. And if you want double the chance to win, you can also follow the instructions on my last video. Since the exact same giveaway is happening there, I'll put up the link to it right now if you want to go there. And also, join my Discord server, because soon I will make a Game Pass giveaway on the Discord server. I don't have an exact date as to when I'll do it, but it's coming. And barely anyone enters anyway, so you've got a pretty high chance of getting free Robux. So now, I will see you next video. Peace.